So I just want to take a second to show you both the good frame, which will be the first video, and it'll be the the rotten frame will be the second video. So you get a comparison between the two. Of course I'll be narrating so you'll get to hear my sexy voice. So this is the first Jeep. This is a 94 and it's got the four inch suspension lift kit in it, as you can see. That's about a thousand bucks. I got the frame for about 500 plus a bunch of parts. And uh, it not doesn't look like much, but it's got good bones. Now here is the 89, I believe, and you'll get to see the frame. It's, it's rotten. It's there, but it's rotten. You'll see some holes and things, and the exhaust is missing in that one. And I'm gonna flip over to the other side, just to get you another look, and you'll see the floorboards, they're, uh, they're rotten, so I'm gonna to replace those. And uh, that's, so there's a hole through there. The axle and everything like that is somewhat good, but it's, it's pretty well done. So as you guys can see, I have my uh, my work cut out for me. Um, it should uh, should be noted that I plan on scrapping the frame of the latest one, which is the 89. Yeah, because I have the good one with the good frame is the 94. Now, apparently, these Jeeps work with all exchangeable parts from 87 to 95. So I have the years in between. So I believe everything should work out. I say should. We'll see what happens. And I also got a three-inch body lift for uh, the Jeep as well, since we're replacing all the bolts and everything. I figured, hey, get a body lift. So I'll have a total of seven inches of lift from the suspension to the body lift, and it's a kit. So you get all the you get the extensions for the uh, the gas, the steering and the shifting the manual shifter and uh, the transfer case shifter so i decided to go that route as well and it's cold outside i'm freezing so i'm gonna get back inside and uh get warmed up mom should be home soon so get everything out of the way for her and uh as this week progresses i'm gonna start with the fuel setting unit and then i'll be moving on to the brakes um so the important things i want to get out of the way first and then as, as I finish the brakes, I'll be putting on the new tires. I'm not worried about what the rims look like. And then after that, I'll be stripping down the body from the new one that just came and transferring it over. So that is the idea thus far. Thanks for watching, guys. Wish me luck.